Okay, this is a main service panel for uh, a single family home. Uh, a lot of homes built back in the 20s had a 30 amp panel, then they went to 60 amp. Uh, this is a 100 amp panel and you can typically tell the amperage of a panel, though not for sure, by the breaker rating. And you can see here that that's a 100 amp breaker. Now it's not an automatic that that's 100 amp service because you can put a breaker that exceeds the uh, the wiring or the service but that's a pretty good indicator. Uh, now you should never take or open up a panel uh, only an electrician should do that uh, or a good home inspector. A good home inspector will pull this panel off and also take a look at how the breakers are wired. Make sure there's no double lugging which is two wires going into one breaker. Um, they'll also take a look at the grounding. There are different methods of grounding the panel, so really important. If you needed to get a service upgrade, a new service drop, let's say to turn a house from a 40 amp service to a 100 amp service, you're going to pay anywhere from $2,000 to $4,000 depending on the complexity and the, the distance that you got to run. So that is a panel. You're going to want to also take a look if any of these smaller breakers say sub panel because it's not uncommon that you'll get an old house where they took the original main panel turned it into a secondary sub panel and then installed this new major panel and supply the old one by wiring from this new one so that sounds a little bit complex but uh, bottom line open up the panel take a look see what the amperage is if it's less than 100 amp, well, you may at some point in time want to do an upgrade.